Hmm, I wonder how hard it is to whitewash brick that was built in the 60s. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? It's just one big craft project. Okay, it is time to get back into this master bedroom and we're finally transitioning into the remodel stage. Today, we're going to work on this accent wall. I am going to whitewash this brick. This brick is original to the house in the 60s. And then we're going to paint this over here a darker color as the accent color. So we have a lot of work to do. We're only focusing on this one wall today because it's late in the afternoon and hubby also has to go to work tonight as well. So step number one, is to move all of this furniture and miscellaneous stuff out of the way. There's no way we can paint if all this stuff is in front of the wall. So very quickly, we started pulling things out. And of course, there's always more than I thought that was in the corner. I thought it was like one or two things. Well, it was a little more. And of course, there were always surprises for me because we have not cleaned out this section in, I mean, guaranteed over five years. So of course I have to hurry up and clean it up and dust this area because I won't be able to paint over all of this dirt and dust. Next, we gotta move this dresser out of the way. And it's very heavy and hard to move because it's bowing in the middle. So hubby had to get the sliders to try and help to push it across so that we wouldn't scratch up our hardwood floors. But it was still pretty tricky, but we actually were able to get it to move. And of course, there was more surprises that awaited us behind the dresser. I, it's probably since we moved that we've cleaned this out. We even found old cameras from 2008 and it was just a big mess that we have to clean up. Now that we've moved the furniture out of the way, our next step is to start the prep work before we start painting. Now for whitewashing the brick wall. I need to thoroughly vacuum out the dust and the debris that is on the bricks and also in between the mortar so the paint adheres. Next, I am going to take the painter's tape and pull it alongside the trim. We're going to paint that white as well and I'd like to have clean white lines when we paint them. And finally, we're going to be putting the tarp down on the hardwood floors to protect them. Now that the prep work is all done, we need to create a whitewash for the brick. So I'm taking this container right here. We're gonna mix it with the chalk paint that we're using. And I also have a short stubby brush to get in between the bricks. So we're going to make a 50-50 mixture. That's what they said on YouTube. <laughs> so we're creating a 50-50 mixture of the chalk paint and water, and we're going to mix it up really, really well. So right away, Hubby started painting the darker color on the accent wall, which is proper gray from Sherman Williams. Since he has to go to work at midnight and work until eight in the morning, he wanted to get started on this right away. So I am taking care of the brick and he's doing those sides. Now for the whitewash, I'm putting this mixture into the creases all over the brick and it's very watery, so be careful, it will splatter. Next, I'm going to take a dry towel and I'm going to rub across the brick to rub it into it and give it that kind of rustic farmhouse look. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot of work and we squeezed it all in on a Thursday night, but I'm really excited to see how pretty this wall is going to turn out. And even though this is a lot of work with all the painting, rubbing, wiping off the paint you just put on, it does look really pretty once it is all done. Okay, so here's the brick and 
I kind of would like it a little lighter. It's pretty, don't get me wrong, and I wanted to keep the integrity of the brick, but I really want it even a little lighter to brighten up this side. So I'm out of chalk paint, so I'm gonna have to go back to Home Depot and get some more. I know, right, crazy, but all right, let's head on off. So off we went to Home Depot, and it was about a quarter after eight at this point, so luckily they close at 9 p.m. and that they had the white chalk paint in stock so that I was in and out. So I had to recreate the mixture again, but this time I actually did a 60-40 whitewash, 60% being the chalk paint and 40% being water. That way I could get it even a brighter white because I really did want it to be a very heavy white wash to brighten up this side of the bedroom because I don't get a whole lot of natural light into our master bedroom. And you can tell with the 60-40 mixture that there is a lot more paint coming off of this brush than with the 50-50 mixture. And I love that it is coming out a lot more of a brighter white wash. And of course, I can't forget the sides. I almost forgot to paint them. So we gotta do them quickly. But be careful because that paint really does splatter and it's all over the wall. Hubby just painted, so we gotta hurry up and fix that. Real quickly, let me show you the difference between two coats and then down here is the single coat. And the first coat is really, really pretty. I do like it and I was wondering, what if I was to do that to the brick in the living room? Just give a whitewash first coat to it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I do it? Leave a message in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts. Should I whitewash this brick in the living room? Just one coat. And our last task for the night is painting the trim white. So we're going to start with the trim that's on top of the brick here. And what I am using is called door and trim paint. This paint is extremely thick. Seriously, it's really thick. It's not very easy to stir, but man, when you paint it on there, you don't really see a lot of brush strokes. It really comes out pretty. Same with the bottom trim. We're using that same thick paint to put it on so it dries nice and smoothly. Okay, so it's really late. <laughs> Starting to get a little haggard looking here. You can start to see the bags are forming. <laughs> but we did a lot, right? We did a lot and I just realized there's an echo in this room. That's good, that means the, the room is getting decluttered and we're getting closer to where we wanna be. And speaking of closer to where we wanna be, we did the half wall, the accent wall. Because honestly, to paint the entire bedroom, don't get dizzy on me, don't get dizzy, don't get dizzy, don't get dizzy. <laughs> but the whole room, it's going to take a full day of me and hubby doing it together and not a night that he's working or a night that I came home early. And it has to be like a weekend, like a Saturday, Sunday thing. Now, this weekend coming up, I'm working on the collab video for the Mega March Motivation, right? So this weekend, I'm not able to complete the remodel. That will be coming up soon, but it's going to be the following weekend that we can finish it and then upload it that Monday. So I just wanted to keep you all updated because I know you're really excited for the model, like this to be revealed finally. <laughs> but I just have to tell you the schedule that's happening behind the scenes because this weekend is focusing on the organizational house part. So that's my little spiel. Good night. <laughs> but before I go to bed tonight, I am going to finish cleaning up the room by taking the tape up by picking up the towels, by moving the ladder. This is actually stuff I used to not do before. This is a new habit. It felt on my heart that I had to complete this before I could go to bed. Cause the old me could have very easily left it a mess for the next night. But you know what? We're creating new habits. And now I get to reveal the accent wall. And I love how this came out. I love how heavy the whitewash looks on the brick. I love how it looks with 
the gray. I also love looking at this corner because it's like new meets old. We're updating. Woohoo! <laughs> it's exciting to update your room and to start to see it come together. And overall, I'm happy. This is worth decluttering your hoard. It really is. It's worth decluttering your hoard to start to see how beautiful the spaces in your home can transform into. And I cannot wait to finally finish this room. And here's my little painting PSA. Put your hair in the ponytail so that your hair doesn't get paint on it. And also make sure that the manicure on your nails is an older one, one that you are ready to change out. If not, you're gonna have a new manicure, one that's marbleized nails if that's what you want. But that is my little PSA for when you are painting your room.